boy. I hear you well, and I have come to you. About time he showed up. I'm happy where I am, Horace. I can hardly wait until you join me. Thank you, Grandpa, but I'm in no hurry. Hi, Louie. What? Come to us, old friend long departed. Let us hear your voice and see your spirit form. Leonardi, you have enthralled thousands in life, enthrall us now who wait for you to speak to us from beyond the grave. Come back to us, old friend. Reveal yourself from behind. Balderdash. Ye who are watching out there, prithee take the word of a real ghost who has been dead these 300 years, that what ye hear and see below is Balderdash. Dost think the mouthings of yon evil woman could possibly bring back the spirit of the good Leonardi? He's a wonderful spirit. I've met him. Ha! Oh, Tis a scandal to a true ghost like me. 300 years isn't much seniority as ghosts go, but I do know true spiritualists from false. And those below are knaves, thieves, and charlatans. Let us hear you, Leonardi. Now. And now a voice will come in answer, now. but the voice will be just as false as the wicked witch who shrieks for it. Let us hear you, Leonardi. Let us hear you. I am here amongst you. I have returned to tell you that many wondrous things await you when you depart. That's Leonardi's voice, all right. I remember it as well as my own. I never believed in ghosts until this minute. If that's Leonardi, I'm Pocahontas. If a spirit really returns from above, he comes for a good purpose, not an answer to such witchcraft. We have too much to do in the other world. Oh, I sent your question. What then am I doing here? I have been sent down from above to put an end to this quackery. Just how and when I shall do it, I know not. But done it shall be, and with dispatch. We are waiting for you, Leonardi. Appear. So be it, so be it. Get a picture. Get a picture. Picture? I have a picture. We are gathered here together to make contact with one long since departed from our midst. One Jake Dombrowski who has left us for a more beautiful life. With my money, shh. Anyone who speaks will break contact with the restless spirits that hover near us. What, 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 what? <laughs> oh, Jake Dombrowski, appear before us for one brief moment. Come on, you're on. This will fool Whitey, but will it fool oh. Louie? Never mind, Louie. That slips job. Come on, Uncle Jake. Come on. Come back to us. Come Good back luck. To us. Jake. Come back to us. Jake Dombrowski, do you hear me? Whitey. Louie. What? Jakey's here. Yeah, where, where, where? Right over there. Louis, I have come to you from beyond the grave. Hello? Hello, Uncle Jake. You look better now than you did when you were alive. How is business down there? I mean, up there? Where I am, business is always good. 
if it isn't too much trouble, Uncle Jake, considering that you're my favorite uncle, and considering that you swindled, I mean, you, you borrowed some money from me before your untimely departure from this earth, I, I thought maybe uh, you could pay me back. <laughs> what makes you think I have any money? Well, uh, it was common gossip among the family that you stashed away a fortune before you went the way of all flesh. Oh, it was, was it? Yeah, yes, uh, it was. <laughs> now tell me, Uncle Jake, where is it? I promise to take only what you owe me. <laughs> I'll think the matter over and let you know in due time. Now, nephew, if you let me have a hundred dollars... A hundred dollars? You heard me shell out. But what does a ghost want with a hundred dollars? Traveling expenses. Traveling expenses? You must be going by cab. <laughs> <laughs> Frank Parelli, cast aside the veil that hides you from the mortal eye. Your mother wants to see you, Frank. Your dear mother is here waiting. Make yourself heard. Make yourself heard. Do you hear me, Frank? Come to us and tell us you are here. Speak to your mother. Show yourself so that your dear mother can see how happy you are and how well you live. where the great Margot makes her habitude. Exactly. Remember, Louis, if Margot asks you what sign of the cardiac he was born under, tell her you're a sagging terrier. Uh, I'm sagging now. Get him out of the car, boy. From here in, Louis, you're on your own. Don't forget to say hello to Uncle Jake for us. Why did he have to die before paying me all the money he owed me? Knock on that door and you'll be able to find out. Be brave, Louis. Come on. All right, boys. Let's disintegrate. Dombrowski? Yes? Come in. We've been expecting you. Well, what do you know? He went in. That's what people generally do when somebody opens a door. Well, fellas, now we got a case to this motel and see if we can find another entrance. Which? Huh? You and Chuck go around that side. Whitey, come with me. Mr. Dombrowski? Yes? Are you prepared to discuss your problem with Margot the medium? Well, it's, it's, it's really not such a serious problem. I, I think we better forget the whole thing. I'll see you later. You nonsense. Every problem is a serious one. Besides, the great Margot is expecting you. 
Sit down. Sit down. I shall inform the great Margot of your presence. Looks like this hut might be tough to crack. Lady? Come with me. What about me? You stay here. If you get in any trouble, whistle. How do you whistle? Just pucker your lips and I'll bash them in. Why do you stay with me, scaredy cat? Gee, I wish the chief wouldn't leave me here alone. I'm scared. It's just spooky. Locked, am I glad? Forsooth, good youth. What seekest thou? Who's that? Tis I. Tis who? Tis I. Tis where? Here by thither bush. I gotta stop beating those banana splits. How dost thou call thyself, little boy? <laughs> by what name goest thou? Oh, uh, I go by the name of uh, Horace the Busey Jones. Sounds, that's a fine, upstanding name. That's a name with character. What name is thou go by? I am called Edgar Alden Franklin Smith. But thou mayst call me Edgar. Gee, thanks. Hey, that's a sharp suit you got on. <laughs> this is the suit I was buried in. Oh, the suit you were buried ah. <laughs> Horace, Horace, thou must understand. I'm a ghost. A ghost. Ah. No, 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 don't take on so. Why dost thou have fear of me? I have no fear of thee. I've taken quite a fancy to thee, Horace. Gee, thanks. Ah, that's better. Now, thee and I shall be friends, good friends. Give me thy hand in common bond. Ah, suppose we just curtsy this time. As thou wishes, Horace. I like you. You're a good ghost. I'm going to introduce you to my friend Slip. No, well, not now. Later, perhaps. But now, what manner of prank wert thou up to when I came upon thee? Oh, I was trying to get in the house. Oh, is that all? Perchance I can be of some aid to thee. Tarry here a moment. Where'd that guy go? Oh, Edgar! He is in, Horace. What a trick! Let you and I open up a magic shop. We'll make a million dollars. Come on, let's go in. Nice work, Satch. How'd you get the door open? I didn't open it. Edgar did. Who's Edgar? My friend. Oh, that's nice. He's a ghost. <laughs> For a minute, I, I thought you said he was a ghost. That's what I said, ghost. Well, fellas. I knew we'd come to this someday. Chief, you gotta stop belting this guy on the head. Fellas, meet Edgar. Edgar, meet the fellas. They can't see me, Horace, nor can they hear me. They can't, but I can? No, that's because I like thee, and because thou alone hast the vision. Gee, that's flattering. I'll flatter you right in the head if you don't stop soliloquizing. Now, maybe we better get you in out of this cold night air. You'll feel better. Come on. Come on, Edgar. No, I have other duties to perform. What's your phone number in case I want to get in touch with you? I'll be around in case thou hast need for me. Well, listen. Oh, he's gone again. Well, goodbye, Edgar, wherever you are. This dock is an old sewer in here. Got a match? Uh-uh. No, never. I got a lighter, but it's out of fluid. I think your brain is out of fluid. Who lit the candles? Edgar did. He's right there alongside of him. Hi, Edgar. Hola, Horace. Mighty thoughtful of you. Ow. I see the old beanbag is talking to himself again. Poor Satch. Just a question of temporary insanity. What do you mean, temporary? Why don't you guys say hello to Edgar? Why are you so rude? The kid is really flipping. Maybe we better humor him. 
Hi, Edgar. He's not there. He's here. Hi, Edgar. What's new, Eddie? Hello, Ed. Hi. That's better. Before this manic depressive goes any further, I think we ought to look around this spook's dormitory and see if we can find anything that would interest the police. I wouldn't want to step on your friend Edgar. Pass me the illumination, will you? Excuse me, Edgar. Here, Chief. Thanks. I think I'll try this door first. Tell thy friend he's going in the wrong door. Oh, Chief! Edgar says you're going in the wrong door. You tell Edgar that I'll go in any door that I wish. The wrong door. The wrong door! Wrong door. It's even worse. Let's try this way. Edgar! Warn my friends. This part of the house is cut off from the main section. Oh, Chief! Chief, come here! Come here! Hurry up! Hurry up! What happened? Edgar said that this part of the house is cut off from the main section. Would you do me a favor? Tell Edgar to mind his own business. Edgar, the Chief said to my... Ow! Let's get out of here before this idiot arouses my sense of mayhem. My headstrong friend will get nowhere. But you tarry here, Horace. I'll show thee a way into the seance room. my friend Whitey. Well, I thank thee. Now, let's go through. And upstairs thou shall see how they are fleecing thy friend Louis. Edgar, you're marvelous. <laughs> this place looks familiar. I've been here before. I know. It was the first time I observed thee. Really? After thee. You like me when you first? Edgar, 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 where are you? Edgar, 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 where are you? Here I be. Oh, you're silly. Gee, I love that trick. Is it hard to do? No, but thee must die first. Oh, die, what's that? Die! I'll stick to my card tricks. Edgar, where you taking me? Secret entrance. Now look, put thy first digit on that spot. My what? Your digit. This is a digit? I thought it was a finger. Here thou seest the means of deception. Boy, I'd like to be in this room on Halloween. This is interesting. What a party we could have. Oh, departed one, let us hear you. His name is Jake, Uncle Jake. Jake? Uncle Jake, tell us of the secret you took with you to the grave. Oh, medium, I have returned from the dead at your bidding. What's that? What is it you wish for me? Did you say something, sir? Your nephew is here. He wishes to talk to you. What is it he it comes wishes from yon to talking talk contraction? He wishes to talk to you of many things. Put thy finger there and press. 
What kind of things? 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 Think my uncle Jake is in the rut. What kind of things? 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 Horace, conceal thyself. I'm concealed. Oh, Horace, that ostrich. Just draw it fast. Hurry up, Edgar. All right, Horace. Edgar. Close your eyes and open your mouth. I got a surprise. I'm going to send you right there, there you your... are. Now, do you believe me? Don't apologize. Just come with me. Is this a door? Stupid. See? Come on. You have to that. Come on, Chief. It's up there. Can you imagine Satch navigating us here all by himself? Probably navigate us into the Red Sea. Hey, Chief, you see this banister? I slid all the way down it. That's no trick. Let me see you slide up it. Oh, you're no fun at all. Please try and get him back. There's a lot of money tied up in him. That's Louis' voice. Yeah, in the next room. Oh, departed one. We mortals who have driven you away, beseech well, you to return. I think we got enough evidence here. Now what we got to do is pass it along to the law. You'd never get that chance. Catch this muscle and grab it, boy. <laughs> Down in the box. Get a rope. Get a rope. Ah! Let me get him up. Out this door and flee for aid. Oh, I can't get it off. Tarry not, friend. Go. Let's go in here. Well, we'll go in here. Edgar. Oh, he's gone again. I wish he'd teach me that trick. Edgar, where art thou? Here I be. Where? Down here, Horace. Oh. Edgar, you're a bag of tricks. You sure get around. Play like a frog. Now I'll be shot. Shot. 
Thinks my friends are having a rather damp time of it. They're in water well over their heads. Gee, they'll catch cold. Let me at that wall. I'll tear it down with my bare hands. No, 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 no. Hold thyself in harness, my lad. I'll extricate thy friends. Edgar, I hope thou never runs out of chore. No, everything's in readiness. What do we do now? I'm sure we do. I'm sure we What are you going to do, Edgar? What are you going to do? Now, Horace, if thou wilt inhale. All right, boys. Routine five. Stop me off! Freeze! Freeze! You are all in my power. Don't make a move. Stay where you are. You will obey my every wish. Wonderful, Professor Kranz. Your hypnotic powers are amazing. Thank you, Lieber Frau. This saves us a great deal of trouble. Are you sure there's no chance of them coming out of it? None whatsoever. They will remain frozen, so, until I command them otherwise. Don't you think we'd better put them down in the storeroom until we decide what to do with them? Mm. Yes. Yeah, Doc. Take them down to the storeroom. A pleasure. Why, it's amazing how easily you hypnotize those young ruffians. Thank you, madame. Tell me, Professor Kranz, can you hypnotize anybody? Practically anybody. That is, anybody who has normal intelligence. Normal intelligence? Yes. The only person that you cannot hypnotize is an idiot or a moron. A moron? I'm being paged. Gad Zooks, I should have known you were too smart to be intelligent. Edgar! Shh, freeze. Between us, we'll break this evil spell. See the shot in the head I gave that big ape? Hark! What ho! I think help is coming at last. I'll go fetch them. And listen, I'll go... Oh, that Edgar, he's so elusive! <laughs> Boy, do they look stupid! See, it's locked. I guess I'll have to go back to my office and get the skeleton keys. I'll go with you. Fine. Oh, wait a minute. Locked, eh? What kind of a house is this? Well, let's go in and find out. Well, here we are. <laughs> I wish we were. <laughs> well, what do we do now? Well, let's look around. Your sleep? You can't get the ad, huh? Well, what an opportunity! Put up your hands, I dare you! Oh boy! Oh, just once, once, put up your hands, or I'll be the boss of this gang before this is over. 
There's the door. Why don't we try that one? Come on. Come on, Louie. I'm behind you. Please, just please. What detain thou? Freeze! We must dispose of them quickly. You are right, Doctor. Uh, achoo! Gesundheit! Thank you! Get them to the routine five, boys! Okay! Oh. Oh. You just uncovered the biggest spirit racket ever to hit this town. I'll tell you who solved this case. My friend Edgar did. He saved all our lives. I thank thee, Horace, for thy kind words. Edgar! What are you doing here? When my work is finished, I came to bid thee farewell. Thou hast been a very dear friend. Gee, thanks, Edgar. So has thou. Do you see anything, Tiny? Say, I've got to start trailing this lad. Pray tell, where art thou headed for? Well, I go now to my lasting peace. Gee, that's rough. Oh, no. <laughs> really? This boy has got to be psycho-alkalized. Now he thinks his ghost is in the sweet shop. Psst. They will never sneak up. And they missed the pleasure. Hey, hey, you're one of the finest gentlemen I ever come in contact well, with. I think right. Put him back in right Oh, come on, bro. What's the matter with you? What are you going? Hey, what's the matter? Edgar! Edgar! Edgar, will you tell him, please? Edgar! Put him back in his mouth. Night, 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 night. It's obvious, Horace. Thy friends do not believe in ghosts. What are you going? What's the matter? Edgar! Dost thou? Edgar! 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 Edgar!